I am just so looking forward to it. And I know the many people who have booked in so far, Tom, are really looking forward Good. to this unbelievable Good. conference. Um, particularly the fact that both you and Tom Holland will be speaking and sitting down together to have a conversation. Um, right. Right. What, what have you heard generally about Tom? I know you've been on my show before to talk to him, but, but what's been your overall yes, sort of sense um, of what, what he's been doing and saying and writing? I mean, his, his um, monumental historical books are fascinating. I haven't read them all. Um, like I doubt if he's read all my books, but we, we try to catch up. Um, and he, he has this sense of the big picture of, of certainly Western history, perhaps global history. And in the middle of that, his sense of um, what Christianity was at the beginning and has become and has gone on being is, is fascinating from his historical point of view. And it isn't a whitewash. It isn't saying, oh, look, Christianity is marvelous, etc. always has been. It, it, there's lots of problems, but he has a strong sense that uh, what Christianity has, as it were, brought to the table in terms of world history is something which hadn't been seen before and has at least the potential, if not always the actuality, to make all the great difference that we all know is needed. And I, I, I find that fascinating in all sorts of ways. Yeah, and I think that has gone alongside and I think he's been quite open talking about this uh, with me. And in fact, he's coming on a future edition of Unbelievable shortly, where he talks about this, his own personal journey alongside that, yeah. uh, as well as the intellectual journey. There, there's definitely been a, an opening up, I think, of, of the, right. the sense that he has that this begins to make sense at a bigger level yep. for him. But yep. Um, yep. yes, it's it, it's interesting and will be, I'm sure, fascinating stuff on the day when we Good. are looking at this theme for the Unbelievable Conference, how to tell the greatest story ever told and um, unbelievable.live. If, if you've been listening to this podcast for any time, then you'll, you'll already know that that's the place to go to book your place. But uh, Saturday the 15th of May is when it's all happening. And rather excitingly, we've got something of a curtain raiser to the conference just a couple of days before. Uh, Thursday the 13th of May we're doing a live stream conversation between yourself and Douglas Murray who's a well-known public thinker associate editor of The Spectator um, and yeah I, I think this is the first time you've probably spoken with Douglas Murray would that be right Tom? That, that will be the case yes I only know him through his journalism and I haven't read very much of that either um, I haven't read uh, any book by him um, yet I hope to before then if there's time um, but he is a provocative writer and thinker and uh, as you will know um, three or four weeks ago he wrote a piece in the spectator which I thought was from one point of view fair enough and from another point of view um, missing the point as it were and so I wrote a letter to the spectator which they published in full I'm happy to say um, engaging with him um, and uh, maybe our conversation will take off from there I don't know it, it it may well do. That was a, a, the issue of the, the way the church is handling issues around race um, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and so on. And and a ve I thought your response was was absolutely super. Um, I saw it shared a great deal actually on my social media. Um, oh right, okay, okay, being printed in the in the Spectator. Yes, um, but yeah, I I think that may be uh, well be one issue that that comes up. But I think what we're planning to talk about primarily is the idea of identity myth miracles and really whether the christian narrative that once guided the west has been lost and what it might be replaced with and what we're missing in the process and what's interesting is when i've spoken to douglas in the past he's described himself as a christian atheist i.e he would love it to be true because he sort of understands the need for that kind of a narrative and it's interesting that i think we're seeing almost in our culture that new atheism becoming rather old hat actually and people realizing sure. what do you replace it if you get rid of god what replaces that narrative yeah. people can't live in a vacuum in that sense right 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 and p post modernity has tried to live in a vacuum and what happens is that um trivia <laughs> social media um twitter um but just general play uh, either um play in, in the sense of doing trivia to pass the time or play in the sense of uh, trying to reinvent the world around yourself or whatever and these come in to take over and they can be very very destructive and I think politically we've seen that um, uh, and certainly personally and as a pastor I see that with people yeah well we'll be asking the question do we need, uh, well, can we live without the Christian narrative, essentially, is, is what we'll be looking at in that programme. It's going to be a fascinating one. Um, 
uh, by the time this podcast is available. Hopefully we'll have a link where people can register their interest and, and uh, make sure they're there for that. But it'll be available uh, on this podcast. We're going to be making sure it goes out to anyone who listens to this podcast. It will be uh, available on the Unbelievable podcast. And But you can join us on the night, uh, Thursday the 13th of May, via YouTube, via our Facebook pages and so on. Uh, and uh, just check check the details to make sure you know how to be with us. But very lo- much looking forward to that conversation between yourself and Douglas, Tom. For more conversations between Christians and skeptics, subscribe to The Unbelievable podcast. And for more updates and bonus content, sign up to The Unbelievable newsletter.